ஹாலிடேஸ் நாளே நம்ம ஜி டி ஹாலிடேஸ் தான் சவுத் இந்தியா நம்பர் ஒன் டிராவல் பிராண்ட் மீனாட்சி காலேஜ் ஆஃப் நர்சிங் மாங்காடு அண்ட் அருள்மிகு மீனாட்சி காலேஜ் ஆஃப் நர்சிங் காஞ்சிபுரம் அட்மிஷன் ஓபன் ஃபார் பிஎஸ்சி எம்எஸ்சி அண்ட் போஸ்ட் பேசிக் பிஎஸ்சி அப்ளை நவ் லேர்ன் ஃப்ரம் ஓவர் டூ பிப்டி மியூசிக்கல் கோர்சஸ் ஃப்ரம் சிக்ஸ் டிஃபரெண்ட் ஜானர்ஸ் விசிட் பி மியூசிஷியன் டாட் காம் Yeah, yeah, and my favorite line to like Oru kadai inga modi vadai kandu kalakamum edarkadi Hello Sean Rolden and welcome to Kalata Plus. Hello sir, how are you? I am good, thank you. Uh and uh, we're doing this recording on June 2nd which is Ilai Raja's birthday. Yes. So before we get to the part about you, uh I just like you to play any song of rajas that pops to your mind and that you like i'm sure there are many but yeah. something that pops to your a lot yeah pops yeah. to my mind but uh, let me see you naan paadum mauna ragam ketavillaya en kaadal raani innum thoongavillaya kanneeril munnai paadugindre என்னோடு நானே பாடுகின்றேன் நான் பாடும் மௌன ராகம் கேட்கவில்லையா கிளாட் யூ சோஸ் தட் ஐ ஐ யூ ஐ யூ லைக் மீ இன் த சென்ஸ் தட் டு சாட் சாங்ஸ் अफेக்ட் யூ மோர் தென் லைக் லைக் ஹாப்பி சாங்ஸ் ஐ டோன்ட் நோ ஐ மீன் ஐ திங்க் ஐ லைக் ராஜா சாட் சாங்ஸ் बिकॉज his uh, i mean there is a value to this sadness because it represents that time and yeah. how people were struggling especially when middle class was the middle class problems were the centerpiece of films right so his music also had to do that so yeah. i kind of grew up with these songs this song i would like uh, i i had a friend who'll play like uh, raja selections earlier when i was growing up people would collect songs they won't just play something from i mean now you get it easily but before and all you had to collect songs so there were a particular like list of songs that i would hear this song is amazing like he would have used delay and all in the inter- interlude the violin interlude and yeah, all yeah, so yeah 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 it just popped into my head i don't know why i just felt like nice it yeah. the popping into the head is always a yeah. good thing so yeah. <laughs> i want to talk about uravu now yeah. which is this gorgeous gorgeous song that you've written for uh, uh modern love the amazon series uh i first want to ask you if you know there are a lot of linkages between the various episodes yeah. is this song meant to be a kind of a riff on raja's uravugal todar kadai which is in the margari episode or is it a complete coincidence because the words in the song which yuga bharti mm-hmm. has written they also have very similar kind of uh definitely the words, yeah, yeah. yeah i mean it was coincidental okay. because in fact this was happening during the covid time when we we never knew what is happening in the other projects okay so like uh, when we uh, did this 30 minute like lala gunda ba my girl we we were just working on just this film so in fact i i was quite i was mildly surprised to see that it, the, a certain coherence was there you know in between the episodes so i was quite surprised myself but the other nugget is that um, you know they initially had placed uravugal todar kadai in the end in the end of this film at the end of lala gunda bokka yes, yes, okay yes. so they had put it as a reference so the song had to say something about the relationships oh okay the, the complexity and um, generally uh, you know um, when you go into like um, very like common people's lives where people are earning their daily bread and when something complex happens to them their relationships have much more color like because uh, to start with survival a problem are come but then they have this bigger problems like emotional problems handling relationships making life choices so adu vandu inda kaalathukku or paata pannalam solli we started but i mean i i just took over that that the other song out of my head because uh, if you go against it anyway you're going to fall flat so i thought we'll do a very new kind of song you know uh, that defines the relationships of today their complexities so i think even the arrangements the melody had something to do in that in that sense and yeah. let's talk about that because i really want to deep dive into this this yeah. song and also know how shawn rolden creates a song mm. uh, so like there's a bit of a master class happening here so okay. uh, a master class no 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 but you know what i mean like like <laughs> like let's dive in and i'm at least three or four of my questions you're going to say it is a complete coincidence or i didn't think about it but mm-hmm. let's talk about it anyway yeah, because yeah, no, no. i perceived it that way so i'm just going to ask you 
like 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 how yeah i mean uh, your perception is yours so i'm not even... yeah so let's begin with what was the brief for the song so like i said um, i watched the film so jingra the danga something we came up with as because the film needed it and yeah. we needed a song to define that place where she falls for him because songs are a great way to right cheat the stories yeah, right so yeah. just for those who haven't seen it this song mm-hmm. appears right at the end of the story yeah, so yeah. whatever comes at the end of yeah. ala gunda bombega yeah. when i watched the film i felt like uh, first of all i thought it was just like 40 minutes but i thought i had been told a lot in just 40 minutes it felt like a proper story that right. i watched like maybe an hour and a half uh, ஒரு ஒன்றரை மணி நேரம் படத்தோடைய ஒரு இது இருந்தது அதில் ஸோ தென் தே செட் எண்டில் இந்த மாதிரி முடியுது அண்ட் யூனோ ஷி கம்ஸ் டு அ பிளேஸ் சேங் ஓகே நவ் ஐ எம் நாட் கோயிங் டு ஜஸ்ட் இமேஜின் சம்திங் ஐம் கோயிங் டு ஒர்க் வித் வாட் ஐ ஹவ் ஸோ திஸ் கை மேபி ஐ மே ஐ மீன் மே ஹவ் பீன் அ ஃப்ராட் பட் ஹி ஹஸ் ஆல்சோ மேட் த சாய்ஸ் தட் ஓகே ஐ ஹவ் சீன் லைஃப் நவ் நவ் ஐ எம் ரெடி டு செட்டில் ரைட் ஸோ பட் விதவுட் தீஸ் பெட்டர் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்சஸ் திஸ் இஸ் நெவர் கோயிங் டு ஹேப்பன் ஸோ வி தாட் ஓகே லெட்ஸ் மேக் அ பெட்டர் ஸ்வீட் சாங் இப்போ உறவுகள் தொடர் கதை அந்த பாட்டு வந்து ரொம்ப ஒரிஜினலாக இருக்கும் லைக் ஐ மீன் இட் இட் ஹேஸ் அ வெரி ப்ளசன்ட் வாய் பட் வி வி நீட் இட் சம் பெயின் பிகாஸ் திஸ் கேர்ள் இஸ் கான் த்ரூ லாட் ஆஃப் பெயின் அண்ட் ஐ மீன் ஷி ஹஸ் ஹேட் அபாஷன்ஸ் ஃபார் கிரைங் அவுட் லவுட் ஸோ வி தாட் தெர் ஷுட் பி சம்திங் பெயின்ஃபுல் அண்ட் தி ஆர்டிஸ்ட் தட் ஐ ஹவ் ஃபாலோட் லைக் ஐ மீன் யூனோ பாப் டிலன் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் மை மேஜர் இன்ஸ்பிரேஷன்ஸ் ஹி ரைட்ஸ் வெரி ஹாப்பி சாங்ஸ் வித் ரெரி ஐ மீன் டிஸ்கம்ஃபர்டிங் லிரிக்ஸ் இன் இட் discomforting messages i like that kind of contrast i have in fact followed it in many like even in jaybeem talagodum was a very bitter sweet song i mean there is hope in the song but it's not i mean it's not hopeful fully like, like it's you not don't a know if happy happy song yeah so and this bitter sweetness is something i've been enjoying for a lot i, I should say on the puve sembu vela or bitter sweet ana feel irukum yeah, yeah so whenever my, minor my, i mean major minor happens this bitter sweetness somehow comes and does something magical yeah, because yeah. it doesn't let the audience settle in a happy place or a sad right, place. Right, right. Be- so this is very useful. Actually, for the narratives, the more I compose these days, uh, when I can understand what the director's psyche is, I feel bittersweet songs are a great way to um, portray the complexity of this time. You know, even if I look at the next person, I can't say whether he's completely happy or sad because that man is not there anymore. So we are living in a complex time. So I think bittersweet is really the... kind of is that I'm going for for these songs that, that's lovely because that's exactly what came through that bitter sweetness mm-hmm. because you think that a song that will appear at the end of when everything has been resolved when when she's smiling finally like a mm-hmm. big smile that you're going to get a slightly happier song mm-hmm. you're getting a song like you said that that has a flavor of major and minor mm-hmm. because it's like uh, you know when she sings there's a, there's a, there, it's almost like padma priya raghavan done such a yeah, wonderful yeah. job she's a He's friend sung. and uh, it's been a long you know meghadudam paadumbodukku munnadi lende i know i know how talented she is she was actually perfect for this song and the, and her voice mm. just carried that ache beautifully you know yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. a a lighter voice may not have conveyed it Definitely. but her voice just beautifully carried that ache yeah, yeah. uh, when when they say orumure dan will 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 they be you know like you know rain only once in my life or like like <laughs> yeah. sunshine only once in my life or whatever it is it's like there's a question there yes uh, so the other question i want to ask you mm-hmm. is was were the lyrics by yuga bharati written first uh, before the song because the reason i ask you this mm-hmm. is twofold one is the fo- this follows a uh, 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 you know like like a question answer kind of uh, structure mm-hmm. she's asking oru muraidan இது வருமோ லைக் 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 சோ யாரை நம்ம கேட்பது லைக் அஸ் இன் லைக் ஹூ டு ஆஸ்க் யூ நோ இஸ் தேர் கோயிங் டு பி ஓன்லி ஒன் யூ நோ பிரைட் ஸ்பாட் இன் மை லைஃப் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் திங் ஆர் ஒன் ஒன் கைண்ட் வேர் அஸ் யூ வென் யூ கம் இன் யூ ஆர் கிவிங் தி ஆன்சர் லைக் அஸ் இன் லைக் நோ 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 திஸ் இஸ் இட்ஸ் கோன் டு பி ஓகே லைக் லைஃப் கோன் டு பி ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் யுவர் த யோர் த சவுண்ட் ஷீ இஸ் த கேரக்டர் வேர் அஸ் யோர் த asariri the the maybe she's the question and i'm on, i'm the answer yeah the answer like that. so that's very specific and i would imagine that is actually harder to write for a tune so was so actually initially even when i when i came into films first see initially i started as a songwriter right so mostly i'll write my songs and it will not even be like something you want to hear meaning it won't be a popular thing i mean i have written songs like nallavan ellam enge ponal ella illa vidhi illa na vandu extremely de- I mean it takes you into a philosophical rabbit hole where right. so my music is actually a consequence of my contemplation in life itself right so although i have learned music and i do it with a certain you know uh, 
zeal for the craft or whatever but i have always tried to just contemplate what i'm what the hell i'm doing right now so all my songs have reflected that so whenever i'm whenever i'm going through a phase my songs also get that character so your songs so, at any point sorry to interrupt but your yeah, songs yeah. at any point are a reflection of sean rolden at that point at that point of time yes absolutely in addition to serving the movie yes 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 oh wow okay yes huh. i think that is how i have also like been able to oralu you know retain the identity that okay this guy is different so and the edi different in people are, people have some perception about it but um, i have never gone for the popular view of what people ask of you well i i think an artist can go through anything really i mean he can go through an absolute period of really shitty songs which i have also gone through like initially when i was writing songs i could not even write properly in tamil but there is this really weird phase that you have to go through to actually write something that's worth anything really so that happened so enak vandu cinema ku varumbodu generally la vandu na lyric ku pannirken tune ku pannirken but i often thought of it as a linear thing when i started for joker especially when i started moving with yugabharathi sir and rajamurugan ivangaloda work pannumbodu ipdi irukuna like uh, i will just play a tune and they will suddenly say indha mari polama like jasmine the national award winning song so i was just playing something like mm eel irukum pa tanna nanna tanna nanna tanna nanna tanna tanna nanna tanna nanna 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 tanna nanna tanna tanna nanna tanna nanna idhu major minor da ena avane oru idhila irukum so indha paattu pannumbodhu chumma love you love you love you love you jasmine abdina abdi irukonu solluvar so it is happening as you go this is yugobarthi saying this yeah so yugobar sir said okay, this okay okay uh. so we were all sitting together because he had some time to kill he came so we said we are just hanging out no might as well do a song so we were having tea and it's all happening like because you have this idea that in the padathu ipdi pannanu nu or idea irukku so i felt that if you are just in a relaxed environment with another creator where the importance of the job is just completely lost on you then it's actually possible to create honest like tunes and lyrics so from there actually that is how we have traveled like whenever yogabhar sir has written for me whether it's code or we there's a song called veyil malaye in uh, mehndi circus actually bhayangara sogathla irpan but it will be a very comforting song mm-hmm. and you may contrasting on there so from joker i've been seeing that uh, like for example he can write something maybe if msv like uh, uh, kannadasan sir um pannumbodhu they will just be doing the cracking the tune and the lyrics at the same time it's not like he'll give them the tune and he'll be sitting in his solace and writing something of course i know the appeal but when we started doing this we could affect each other all the time right you were literally jamming in a way exactly yeah. so uh, jam as in uh, it was it was more of a streamlined jam if you know what i mean we, we know where we have to go but we are not in a hurry to reach there we are just taking our time to figure out everything so adanal da enak enoda favorite line say vandu na tune da sonna edhuke he wrote the lyrics there there couldn't be a better i mean in the tune oda idha vida better water lyrics irukadu yeah and the mannile thondrum jeevan yavume mini mini yeah anbile kelvigal illai vaadadi kan mini solra edam idha vida relationship define panna mudiyadhu yeah because if you love somebody you think is okay right yeah so that's the freedom that you get so she never got that in any other relationship this guy is basically accepted her past and his past also now they are truly free because everything is already because there is no expectation in the relationship right now it can be a real relationship right. it's not something you imagined so in the mari if you get in to a room with writers directors and if you just jam it out uh, still when you are jamming you are still like even i mean if in the shudila marama the structure la correct a varano there should be a resolution in the tune all that is fine but it can even happen yeah. so there was there were no barriers like uh, i will absolutely say something really crappy like i can give him a crappy tune and he will say mm-hmm. so i was okay to do that like this is a space where generally people will not let other people to come in so because you think you are a big creator and you have to protect it doesn't right now that whole shame is gone now these guys so every time we sit we know that some something will just happen so it's not even a conscious thing so no, and just just to add to what you just said when you said that line it's yeah. that's uh, um, you know when you've heard so many uh, lyrics in your life mm-hmm. uh, that you know pretty much that that idu vanda in the rhyme da varu but that's just an unusual rhyme kanmani and minmini <laughs> you know like a like a uh, uh, that yeah because uh, rhyme ngar cheesiness we've been trying to take away from the it even on the jaybeam la edina and the charanathile manile ira mundla charanam varum there was absolutely no reason for us to be crafty or uh, you know I, i call it the poets bias you know they have a meter they have a grammar that they have to satisfy but i think if that fits with honesty and the need for the characters to get expressed i think that's the sweet spot of 
where it could all go right and a lot of people may not even realize it now whatever is something you are analyzing so much but a common listener may not even have it in in his playlist yet he may just listen to a jangrada danga or something but i'm just saying that in time this could become something you right. can even make songs like this i mean so you said that there's a grammar right mm-hmm. but there's also reason certain grammars evolve mm-hmm. because for example like the repetition of a line mm-hmm. it's a pop music standard because the thing mm-hmm. is i've said a line if i repeat it it will stick into the yeah. in in the listener's mind more similarly if i rhyme mm-hmm. then the the rhyme is going to make that line stick more in the yes, yes. in the so there's a there's a reason for that grammar yeah 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 definitely so whereas if you have a free verse madri if you have a uh like a uh, uh, like a line mm-hmm. it may be beautiful for those who love lyrics mm-hmm. but for the person who wants to stick to the song and just like hum it mm-hmm. there may be a barrier because there's no there's nothing that's stopping them and then taking to the next line and then giving them a rhyme again mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so what do you have to say for that it's a so i generally feel every kind of every intent has an aesthetic growing around it right as people go forward like if you want to write about your cat obviously you're not going to have people singing your song and uh, if the, if they have to hear about your cat of course you'll write a i mean write a catchy line or something as a cover you can write mia mia punakuti yeah yeah mia mia punakuti whatever but people will so you are you are hoping that mia mia punakuti will bring people into your story if i write a line like that maybe that will be my intention but what has happened is i i feel that i feel that just just um, just the fuss of modern life has really killed the sensitivity of <laughs> song singing and listening and you know participating in that whole thing because like when i was growing up i would listen to these msv songs raja sir j ramanathan uh, even deva was like a, i i really enjoyed his music a lot because yeah. every composer has a bad song but i don't think deva sir has one <laughs> <laughs> every song just flies with you um and um, uh, raja sir odla vand craft bayangaram a irukum like it will be simple tunes uh i mean when you hear it for poo edut mala la keta romba simple a irukum paadi patha romba yeah adule or proficiency irukum like uh, in his compositions so you are trying to write your chapter in such a legacy of you know rahman is there i mean so many people have done what they've done so just uh, just as a, a creator of songs i think that we have just um, i mean uh, in a mainstream sense we are compelled to be happy ourselves i mean you are not you don't have the freedom of if so like if i have to write a love song i have to i just have to fall in love with somebody but when pani malare pannona love vandha dhaan aganum na or vayasana na maaranum so the so basically everything comes from your sensitivity the ability to change shoes pauravula paatha kuda there is nothing that's forced on the song we right. just try to be the character see their point of justice and adilinda part varudhu Now for me, the enaga tarcha illa nadakala. Pa kaadalara onnu vendu chila chorus vandu. It just came. It, I mean, it wasn't done for a purpose or something. There are many songs in which I I really like the song. Like for example, Ola Ola Kodi Sela from Joker is one of my favorite songs. In every sense, craftily speaking, aesthetic, ah, epdi baata kuda. But no, it, that's not a song that people know more. Uh, I don't know whether you song. should you should do this or not. But I am also just trying to figure out all this. So I, I guess I don't have an answer for this. may yeah, I mean if it comes from your honest place i i think it should work but another person may question what is your honesty does it matter and all that that's their uh, problem right so for me if it's honest enough it works I mean, so so within a commercial space like film mm-hmm. what is honesty i mean uh, honesty is just intent for me like um, if, if there is something i've definitely felt about a film let's say like for example in this film let's take urav as an example sometimes i feel that Uh, people don't feel the characters and this they just make some cheesy tunes to fit that because it's a job for me the job part is not even the problem like i i keep, I keep getting a lot of this films i i get to make more songs but i've consciously like tried to keep the number of films minimum because i'm just afraid that i would be dishonest with something right like urav la vandu honesty illa maybe how can you make sure. and it's not like some it's not some you can't figure out kind of song ungada yaad but what what draws you into it like for example just you the person it is suddenly speaking to you apdina and the part la da honesta nadandirukkaname so it often takes time to invest in the characters to feel them as people you know i don't even think people really i don't know if people do that actually i just do it because i love films i love stories 
um, I love performances. Like Guru Somo Sundaram's performance was, was, it was really a big hook for me to create that kind of music. Right. Elena, I wouldn't have thought of Yenanga uh, Saranga Sattam more. He had some really quirky thing that he was yeah. doing with his eyes. Even that could inspire me. So if I have something inspiring to begin with, first of all, I should let it affect me. So I'm never in a hurry to, if somebody asks me, even for good night, uh, after I watched the film, they asked me what, what if. I said, I'm just absorbing the film, just giving me some time. But two days, you know, it, it really had something there. So I was just absorbing it before even responding musically or like something. So I don't have this compulsion to respond immediately to somebody. I'll take my time and react. Because that is because I am figuring out myself. Right. Am I just doing it because I'm imagining something or have I really got the film? So I'll try to get the film first. So I'm the honest team. Right. I guess I'm, I'm more honest to the film than to the market, I would say. Maybe that, that's, if that's, I could put it like that. That's fantastic. Yeah. But don't, uh, devil's advocate question, mm -hmm. don't you think the market's also important? No, the market is still figuring me out. It will understand Understand me. you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and now there's a, there's a bigger market, I think. So there Definitely. is a... Yeah. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I've succeeded in creating songs like Ola Ola Kudisaila, for example, in a Tamil film, in a current era, which I, I think is a big success for me. Right. Because there is a director who understood what I was trying to do. There is a lyricist who would not let me down. He will always try to make my music more special with his amazing words. So, this may not have a spotlight at that time. And people don't even understand why these kind of films succeed. Because who will put a lens on this film? They will just think, wow, these guys got lucky. They made something. We'll see how long it lasts. Right. That's the attitude here. But we have slowly been building a foundation for these kind of voices, these kind of films to be made, right? Right. But nobody will question me because I don't have some fuss going around me, right? right? I don't have any drama going around me. If I sign some, I don't know, some Kamal Zar of film or something like that, then all this drama will come up. I know it will happen, but I don't want to do it just because I want to have it. I should need it, right? So, right. if I want to do a film with Superstar, he should also need me. So, if he doesn't need me, I cannot go and say, oh, come on, I, I want to do a film with you. It's not like that. Right. That is how this whole system is. Everybody wants something before they even realize that should we be doing this. Sometimes just if you're in a bad phase, it's better to not do music at all. Yeah. I took a one year break before Mandy Circus because I didn't want to do music. I was just traveling the world, you know, trying to look at people. I, I was just getting reacquainted like a, with life. Like a recharge. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm pretty sure my family will feed me for a long time, at least till I last. So what problem is there really? What, you'll have something more. Okay, you, you get your market bigger. What will you do then? Then you are again going to come down. Again, you will start at the bottom. I mean, again go up. Can't you build a stable route? I mean, I don't know what that top is. Everybody keeps talking about top or bottom or whatever it is. I've never understood it. Uh, because, um, uh, not I'm, not because I'm saying I'm some like great artist who knows what art is all about. But simple contemplation is enough to function in the world is what I feel. Right. Market is just, it is, see, it is being the big bully, isn't it, sometimes? It is telling you, oh, I don't know you, oh, okay, okay, you, you sing to my, you dance to my tunes. I am just testing its strength. I am actually helping the market figure itself out. So, sometimes when something sudden happens, the market will react. Right. And then when it settles, it will be like, oh, 10 years back, it was such a crappy thing. How did we listen to all this? So, that's anyway going to happen to everybody because time will do its own thing. So, I, I think I believe in time. Like, it, it will certainly, it, it has certainly changed things for me. Right. And it's not like I've figured everything out. So, I want to figure out everything. I want to first learn what this life, music and all those things are. So, as I go along, maybe, I mean, everything will work out. Or maybe it won't. It won't matter anyway. It's a very interesting and philosophical approach. And it's more the approach of a band musician than probably a full musician. That's what I am, like, okay. <laughs> in reality. <laughs> so, that's how I started my life. Like, Sean Rolden and Friends are a band. Yeah. It doesn't mean that I am actually being cocky about No, no, you don't come across taking. like that at all. It's... I'm doing it with responsibility. You know? But Jai Bhim knew the same responsibility was given where honesty was supposed to be the thing. As far as the songs go, like, if you talk about a part, if you talk about a star, if you talk about a star, it is getting noticed so much. I know that. I really want to do that in every film. But is everybody ready for that? They will have their own motives, which I can't question. Right. Similarly, the market cannot come and ask me, like, why are you not feeding me? I'm, I'm actually doing it, the, I mean, the best favor that I could. Because, see, creating your own path, sometimes it may take longer. But uh, success is never a straight line, isn't it? Like, so I don't know what will change about me next year. So, but one thing I've decided is, I, I thought that, okay, let's wait. 
come back with a masterpiece and then disappear and then come back right now it's not working out for me so i thought okay let's be busy for a while this is something i've never chosen to do right why why is it not working out for you because you're stuck with one thing for a long time but uh, because of the experience and other things music is flowing quickly if a song is done it's just done i mean you just wait for a year and end up doing nothing so i'm i'm functioning more right now uh, because and learning was also a problem back then like i was learning figuring out a lot of things i don't think i've learned everything but i i've come to a clarity about who i am and what i'm doing with my music so because of that i can afford to function a little more right now right so that's where i am currently actually so so this is malcolm gladwell theory right it's just like if you do anything for 10000 hours i think is the number yeah yeah uh, then that's what they say that's what they say that if you do something for th- that many hours mm-hmm. then even if you do a bad thing there'll always be a quality to it you'll never fall below a certain uh, i hope that's true is is that i wanted to ask is that i'm uh, hoping that's true because i don't know if this 10000 hours because i've been singing from age of 6 but every time i get to a point there is often this need of to move forward right to change your narrative so i was a carnatic musician initially and then i picked up the guitar and i played guitar for some time and then i i listened to western classical music one time full western classical music na weekly avodu so and i was very very invested in the carnatic ethos i was singing concerts and idella nadandadukapra didirna i dropped everything i just ran behind the blues and jazz that happened suddenly drop uh, shawn rolden and friends tamil music drop it film music so this has been happening a lot for me so uh, maybe i'm digging holes everywhere but i also come to the point where this is all helping me now because uh, from orchestral music to gana music to i'm i'm able to handle all these verticals right uh, see sir there there is this That's okay business like word i don't know i don't know what else to call yeah. it yeah for me to amalgamate it will take time because i'm a very skeptical guy about what is art so just because somebody says it's complex music i will not yeah as long as it i mean i can figure out because complexity is such a cliche for me i can decipher anything that anybody plays then what is music now now you have to find something new to get excited about right so i'm just chasing this like a dog i mean I, i'm not i mean th- these films have clearly been reflecting who i am at that point of time but it is coming to a closure now i would say more and more yeah so 10000 hours and therla ena na music vandu i've been a musician since i was 6 years old right but i've just not decided that i will be this or that so i've not made that decision yet if you say okay singer 10000 hours abdinu pannave illa so elladhilume nare time potirukiradunala for that to come together i don't know what that will be what that sound rolden will be i will never know but i'm going to find out now you just dug a huge rabbit hole right there by saying trying to define art mm-hmm. but art is such a subjective thing because mm-hmm. you can say that i compose this great song in 2023 or which according to me is, is is easily one of the greatest songs i've heard this year but there may be a person sitting next to me who doesn't respond to the song at all yes, yes. for whatever reason yes, yes, like yes, it doesn't yes. touch them it doesn't whatever it is yes, it's yes, like whatever yes, yes, yes. so for me it's art for that person they're going to go to something else i'm saying i'm okay with that so there is no fixed definition of art right absolutely not yeah. so i'm just repeating what you said i'm okay with, okay if that person doesn't get what i'm saying right because i'm not talking to him right <laughs> i'm talking to you the listener also like we tr- we spoke about pain a lot like uh, i've undergone a lot of pain just in like in terms of my growth figuring out oneself is the greatest pain i could tell oh, you oh it because, is so i've often been very detached in that sense as a person maybe the music did a lot of that to me pain nalla solvaren ipo undu for some people pain means something very different i mean for a for a privileged person what is pain pain could be boredom just having everything what more what more could be the pain for a poor person i mean the poverty could be the pain like they will have this idea that i'm poor i'm not going to get anywhere that that's that's pain it also depends on what people have gone through when they come in contact with your music yeah so the better conversations i have had with a larger number is in taking music to common people's lives people who are striving for every day like talagodum vandu personal whatever i have the comments that i have received for the song is like Uh, especially covid time la nareya per a lot of people had suffered enamo therile this song has gone and spoken to a lot of them and uh, it has certainly comforted people in a sense now urav is a song for somebody who is figuring out relationships meaning they have the time to do all this uh, although you may argue that lala gunda area la indha mari vandu or butter biscuit company nadakkaradhu na kuda what a roller coaster ride she has been and yeah. what is a woman really 
like i am a man i don't know what my even my wife is thinking as a woman but woman is a, such a complex thing uh, so this girl has had so much and she still has the courage to stand up and say okay i'll get married what i ima vaanda na edhuk idu pannu ema arano na vaadren appdi solra alliya so now it is not even about class thing anymore it's like it's being a woman and it's being cornered and it's trying to be cor- and some people may even shame you for it see she slept with that person and now she's acting like some big confident person namurla ninne and the moral compass irukke beating somebody down because they they did screw up or something i want to address that pleasantly now i don't want to make her some i don't know wonder woman or something i want to you know meet her at her justice like so this is if this is what she might be going through this is the song right so it takes you through just her mind like now she is saying oru murai than mari varuma idala sonna kuda like uh, the bitter sweetness is carried by me like you said and the kodayil கோடைகள் விடை பெறும் பொழுது குளிர் காலத்தை நெருங்கிடும் மனதெல்லாம் யதார்த்தமாக லைஃப்பில் பார்க்குற விஷயம் இட்ஸ் நாட் ஈவன் போய்ட்ரி பிகாஸ் போய்ட்ரி வில் லைட் யூ இட் வில் சே வானத்தையே குடிக்கலாம் கடல் எடுத்து குடிக்கலாம் எப்போ விடலாம் இந்த மாதிரிலாம் சொல்லலாம் போய்ட்ரியில் பட் ஆஃப் லேட் ஐ பீன் வெரி கான்ஷியஸ் தட் ஐ ஹாவ் டு கீப் த ரேஷ்னல் காம்பஸ் வெரி வெரி சேஃப் பிகாஸ் லைக் போய்ட்ரியில் வந்து யூ யூ மே கெட் லாஸ்ட் ஏன்னா கண்ணதாசனோட போய்ட்ரியில் செம்ம கிளாரிட்டி இருக்கும் பட்டுக்கோடை கல்யாண சுந்தரனாரோட போய்ட்ரியில் செம்ம கிளாரிட்டி இருக்குமே so when you read something like that it's awakening so what what do people need when they of course daily comfort pandradhukku enna venumo irukku which is anyway like so um, an amusement piece but for rainy days these songs will be there they yeah. will stick around yeah. they are not going anywhere so i i, I think that's purpose different ah irukku rendu paadukku thalagodum ku uravagum purpose romba different so idu rendume and padathukana thevu dhaan it's not just to you know force my role into the music or i mean music scene or whatever but i'm just trying to get justice for the characters even good night live the song choices the aesthetic choice was truly character driven it was not um, it was not just to force my like whatever ambition into the film so in that sense i would say yeah i mean so i i'm i'm going to say that you know you just said that you're not impressed by complexity for complexity sake yes, yes. but i would say that the reason urabu works for me mm-hmm. is there is a complexity there mm-hmm. but it doesn't sound show offy because it's not for the sake of complexity right so what <laughs> no let, let me finish the i mean if you analyze I like, it as a structure it may seem complex yeah. but it, it i mean it flowed naturally is what yeah. i mean yeah. yeah okay so that's what you're saying so yeah. you're saying you 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 know, you're again you don't want you don't want to make songs just because they're complex exactly yeah okay okay yeah, yeah, yeah. but the thing is unless a song has a level of complexity mm-hmm. then you just listen to it once and you're done yeah. or you listen yeah. to it twice and they're yes. done the reason urabu works mm-hmm. is because right from the beginning when the when the piano the the thing starts the note start uh, it's a piano right yeah, like yeah a, it's right? actually um, i modeled that tone on a mm. so is so, what you're talking about yeah yeah so that 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 so it's like a keyboard lover yeah so the keyboard that actually sounds like raindrops because yes, like yes 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 that's what you wanted yeah yeah the, yes. so that's okay, exactly so what i was going for kind of, so so because you are saying this means a lot to me because like if somebody feels like some people say some upon the stranger in moscow honor part of michael jackson part it makes you feel cold yeah there's a coldness in the song i have never seen the visual i only heard the song finally youtube la vandadukku apra youtube penetration nadandha apra one day I, i watched the song i was surprised to see that this is something i could have imagined right like there's a coldness in the song you yeah. feel cold somewhere so that is actually what i've been so ipo like um, for example uh, Uh, flight of the bumblebee keta i mean it's just it's it's an expression of what what the bee could be doing right so adu vandu kandipa irukanum because aesthetic nu na solradhu adanal dhaan that's why i said like okay like there sometimes i have also written cards saying okay maybe na vandu idilendu ipo ipo e flat major 9th poren appala solli kuda pannirukom but we are not there anymore like you know the honeymoon period is over now now you are like okay everything is there but i know all the it's like saying i know all the words and what do i write down now <laughs> it's like that so you know the words but the context has become your whole game now right so that's why these kind of songs are i guess coming through and when i say complexity i also mean you know that that sound of raindrops through the piano <laughs> and that wonderful humming that she does just a little bit mm. Mm. 
like there's a bit of pain in that you know yes, yes. like it's not like it's not like, even a minor though yeah it's it's, it's just a, <laughs> almost like a sigh you know that that yes, that, that yes. there's a there's a something that's happening there so it's what actors do right like sundara yer vandu jasmine yen nalla paadnaru ingu nare per kepanga ingitta how did you get him to i didn't get him to sing like that basically what happened was he came in front of mic he said paadren solittu paadnaru he was very nervous now his nervousness his apprehension was becoming the music what we decided to do was i said i will also sing with you abdin solittu na romba action la panni panna avar koothula paadravar once that kicked in like the performance changed so singers are also like actors it sometimes it matters to me what they say how they say it for example ipo oru murai da malai po oru murai da malai varuma yaridam ketpadu ibidiyum paadala அவ வந்து அவ பாடுறதே ஒரு லேசியா இருக்கும் பிகாஸ் இட்ஸ் லைக் ஷீ டசன்ட் ஹேவ் த ஸ்ட்ரென்த் டு கெட் அப் ஆர் சம்திங் சோ திஸ் வாஸ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் ஆக்சுவலி அண்ட் ஐ ஜெனரலி ஹேவ் த ஹேபிட் ஆஃப் ஓரியன்டிங் சிங்கர்ஸ் இன் டு த சாங்ஸ் ஜெனரலி இன் எவ்ரி சாங் லைக் ஈவன் பிரதீப் ஹூஸ் லைக் ஐ வுட் ஜஸ்ட் ஒரு பிளைண்ட் ஐ மீன் ஐ வுட் ஈவன் லைக் ஒரு பிளைண்ட் ஃபோல்ட் கட்டி நீ பாடு சொன்னா கூட ஓகே ஹில் சிங் பட் ஈவன் இன் சச் சுச்சுவேஷன்ஸ் லைக் இப்போ தலகோதம் பாடும் போது இட் வாஸ் ப்ராப்பர்லி ஓரியன்டட் இன் டு சாங் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் மீட் தம் play the song to them tell them the situation because we think singers are just singers right they will just sing it's just anyway. tools so it's not like that i mean a singer has to feel the emotion or i would say sometimes solradhe vandu romba important ah irukalam ena vandu neelavanna koora illada neelamingu yedu that vibrato i want like if he sings neelamingu yedu no it doesn't do justice to the lyrics so now vibrato the the small things now matter more see why did they call it fine arts like fine arts na enna solluvanga na romba fine ana art thane because the big things don't matter the yeah. little things matter more than the big things yeah. so this is how these recordings are happening so what is translated is actually that the singer is convinced that she is that woman she is going through that pain so i also tend to work with these kind of artists because padma priya like she gets she's not just merely a singer she is also like she she has a thought process she thinks she also writes her songs So Pradeep is also like that Kalyani is like that everybody I worked with are like artists by their own right they can bring a certain thing to the and it's not just music related it's also the personality right so but unless we tell them that is not like no sometimes directors will say idala edhuk singer ta solreenga nu kepanga but they are going to sing i am not going to sound in the song they are going to you know be the voice of the song na idala mukyam so vibratos are important like the softness loudness generally so it it happens almost like sculpture rather than you put things together right so that's how even recordings are happening so when i asked you about uh, you know the question answer nature of the song mm-hmm. whereas the girl is asking the question and your voice the male voice is mm-hmm. is the voice of life or experience or destiny or whatever yeah, it is yeah. saying that okay don't worry everything's going to yeah. be okay i noticed one structure that the girl's tune the the female singer's tune is very uh it's lovely but what i mean is it's it's very linear as in the, the, whereas you have little curves as in yeah, yeah melodically speaking you go there right so you again you get these little curves and these little things there is that intention can i can i answer honestly yeah actually now that i think about it it might have been a psychological thing but not intentional okay. for sure because generally off late the kind of female songs that i've been doing um because i have some very nice important women who have shaped my understanding of what a woman is um i i'd, I'd like to represent w- women as like more stronger or something like that right because like a woman or the idea of singing ge vandu romba it's too curvy and too sensitive in the mari irunda era one irundhadu right or sensuous or Sen- sensual yeah, exactly yeah yeah so bo sajana la geta avlo curves irukum and paadradhe ethe irukiradhu ipdi la irukum so if you reverse it actually if you just do the opposite if the man becomes more sensitive and in that case i mean ipo na neenga sonna varam da naane realize pandrena and the end la vandu he will go and kneel to her saying please be with me and all even then sala sari apple cut panna adin solli was after pa so it is not true that in every relationship the man a man woman a woman kareya right sometimes it's both ways yeah maybe that just psychologically played into the song or something also i i like to think of myself as a more of a not a very brash singer like a very vulnerable sensitive singer adana anagre maybe because i sang it maybe i approached it like that yeah 
No, the reason yeah. it struck me was because her lines were all very progress progressive, mm -hmm. uh, either going up or going down. Mm -hmm. Whereas you were giving these little loops, so I was like, okay, is there? Yeah, a... and my favorite line to like. You know, you have a very, I mean this as a very good compliment, it's like a, you have a very uh, uh, MSV-ish kind really? of voice. Oh, that's actually a compliment. No, no, as in, a fan of. No, not because of anything else, but because uh, when MSV sang a few of his, those Tattu Padal girls, right? Uh -huh. It really sounded like some said live or some something external to yeah yeah exactly uh, like yeah, S D Burman for instance yeah yeah S D Burman you know? yeah when yeah, S D Burman yeah. sings yeah, yeah. his his mm -hmm. philosophical songs mm -hmm. th those sound a little like as if there's a voice of God or something like definitely, that you know, definitely, so, you know yeah. there's a certain uh, like a not a singer they're not a polished it's not Yesudas or uh, Kishore or uh, uh, Rafi or something like yeah, that. there's yeah, something yeah. else you know there is something more I mean I think the more painful more human. More uh, life-like. Because not it's I'm, not a singer-like singer yeah. singing. Maybe yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. the reason. I mean, of course, you're mm. you are a good singer and you mm. keep the the shruti and the pitch and all that is there. Mm. But there's that uh, voice tonality, that timbre that you cannot like that. Yeah, maybe it goes back to the people I idolized. Like I, I'm a I'm a big fan of Ray Charles and how he sings. I mean, I've not seen any other man do the stuff that he does with his voice. I mean, he doesn't even have a voice. Yeah. Like like. Um, Oh, come back, baby. Oh, mama, please don't go. He'll just shout. Like, he won't even sing. It'll be like the story is more important than how right you got it yeah, or yeah. something like that. So, this is something that's just hardwired into me now. I think it's more a personal happiness of just being able to bring that character to art. Because, you see, I don't know you glorify something that's pretty, right? I mean, uh, something pretty, no, oh, yeah, it's very special. And then if, it, if if something is, or you you then go to the other extreme of, like simplifying the, uh, you call something that simple pedestrian or something. It's not that, like every person is unique and every expression is unique. But everybody gets normalized into some label. I guess I've just been fighting that. I've not let that happen to me. Like, uh, okay, oh, oh, this guy is the love, love song singer. And then I was like, not. I mean, I, I can't be in love forever. Like, my idea of love changed. Then how do I honestly sing those songs? I can't sing, like, it's just completely gone out of my system. So every time I do something, I also create problems that I'm just... I, take some time for me to close the loop. So, Ray Charles Mari, I mean, Ray Charles and Tamil music was the So, Vama Channel alone, pretty much that was the idea. And Santoshum Bangra Blues sort of fan. Know. So, on the bottom, literally, we just, however, we'll do a blues right. song, we did it like that. It was not like, and it was sung as a track. You know? It got approved. So, because it's a woman point of view. So, I thought a woman will be singing it, but finally this worked. Because maybe, because of that quality or something. It's just, I've let too many things affect me. I don't know what I am anymore. I mean, whatever is left from RR or Sean Roll and whatever that is. That's the reason is, just too many influences have gone in and they have started doing something that I don't particularly understand. So I guess I'm just having fun. But that's fun with every sensitive person, right? It's yeah, like, yeah. A, should, should I, be. I mean, they are, they've taken everything that comes into their life and they, they if you're empathetic, you mm -hmm. absorb stuff. Absolutely. And yeah. otherwise, you're not, how will you be able to create uh, anything. Like, and all great artists are sensitive people. From whatever I've seen, even Ilai Raja, like I'm seeing, sir, on the, uh, sometimes you see him like going off for a question or something like that. But he's not your regular uncle, no. He's, he's, he's Sainani Ilai Raja. Or we are able to sensitive people, when they will. I mean, look at his music yeah. for modern love. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. So, when people like demonizing him, saying he's talking like this and that, see, he's also like a very senior person, 80 years old. He has seen a lot of, and from where he has come and what and all he has done is something you can't even imagine. The life that he has lived, I can't even imagine living that life, that yeah. musical life. I'll be limited in some sense because everything is given to me in a platter, I'm taken care of. But so that is not factored in often, I think. Not that I'm justifying whatever he's saying, it's, it's up to him. No, but I'm also but, uh, saying that, see, my relationship to 
Sean Rolden mm-hmm. or to uh, Ilya Raja is through their art, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, so, see, the art is always greater than the artist. Yes. yes. So, like the music, Uravu for me is greater than Sean Rolden. Absolutely. So, Thank you. I Amazing. whether you're you're a nice guy. Yeah, it shouldn't an, matter you're to you. An anyway. yeah. I I really don't care if you're giving me good music. That's that's. I mean, if you're giving me Uravu, that's that's pretty much yeah, what yeah, it no, is. Wa- because what more should I give you? Because like. நானும் வந்து சம்டைம்ஸ் ஐ பிகாஸ் சஞ்சய் நான் தான் என்னோட வாத்தியாருங்கிறதுனால ஐவ் சீன் இம் ஹேண்டில் பிகாஸ் வென் ஹீ வாஸ் சிங்கிங் சம் தமிழ் கிருத்திஸ் புது புது காம்போசிஷன்லாம் உள்ள கச்சேரியில் பாடும்போது ஹீ ஹீ வில் ஈவன் சிங் லைக் ஹீ வில் ஸ்டார்ட் வித் எத்தி ஸ்டிக் காம்போசிஷன் ஐ மீன் அந்த பாட்டு பேர் மறந்து போச்சு அவர் எடுத்தோடனே பாடுவார் கச்சேரியோட ஆரம்பத்திலே தென் எவ்ரிபி எவ்ரிபடி வில் பி லைக் ஹோ ஹீ சன் எத்தி ஸ்டே எத்தி ஸ்டே எத்தி அப்படியே விஸ்பர் பண்ணுவாங்க அப்படியே ஆடியன்ஸ் ஃபுல்லாக ஹீ ஹீ ஆல்சோ டேக்கன் ஆன் சம் பேட்டில்ஸ் தட் வேர் வெரி ட்ரிக்கி ஐ மீன் கிவன் த கன்ஃபைன்ஸ் ஆஃப் within what is functioning right but it was not like you are trying to be this person or that person you are embracing everything as an artist see if i have to popolla da ulagathile vande jai bhim la irukna see personally i see i know god exists i don't believe in all so that there's a difference but i am i am totally excited by so what that's a whole is. other conversation actually so <laughs> no but but if an atheist says that i mean i don't i don't give importance to forms i don't have beliefs Uh, I'm, I mean, a rational compass, you know, why is it, why is that not okay? That is okay. I mean, an artist cannot take that and justify that or whatever, or he can explore that. And the rational order depth in Nangar explore Pani Patha, people can also get an idea, a true, a really true look into what is happening through the artist's mind. Now, I feel that in the current time, because of the explosion that's happening, industry, industry, no one has been able to do it. The individual artist has been able to do it. somebody who retained the power and was willing to climb mountains and yeah. swim the deep oceans he's a little handicapped now i feel but but i think he'll come back i think it's a cycle so uravu mari part la vandu even if we have a personal like even if you don't like me as a person but if you like the song that's the perfect relationship to have right. because right. that's what i also intend to be like doing right so i mean of course now i have the privilege of talking to you but mm. otherwise i'd be listening to the song on my computer or earphone something like that so yeah. the who Sean Rolden is 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 irrelevant to me as exactly, a, yeah, as a person that is yeah. what it so um, there are two musical choices i think maybe more but at least now i'm remembering two that that i really want to ask you mm-hmm. one like the first time i heard it one instrument that really 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 stood out was that accordion that kind of peeps out mm-hmm. uh, like every once in a while it just peaks and goes yeah, yeah. so like yeah. tell me about that choice why the accordion so it's, it's not an instrument that you hear very Yeah, often yeah, yeah. in too many songs or you know it is not it is a very shankar jayakishan kind of uh, exactly because it's more european usage of accordion if i may like because accordion is mostly iparisanda ketadle ellame it's a vamping instrument or right. a play melody on it or something so enakundu i um, i saw some live street performances la paathen nare europe la la poi irundha bodu i mean the the way they were using the accordion was like very interesting for me even when they were playing chords and stuff the right side of the accordion like when squeeze panni vaasikiradile அதுலேயே பயங்கரமான டெக்னிக்ஸ்லாம் தேவர் யூஸிங் அக்கார்டிங் இஸ் லைக் ஃபார் மீ இப்போ வென் யூ புட் சுகர் இன் சம்திங் யூ டோன்ட் சீ த சுகர் ஐ மீன் மெட்டீரியலி யூ கான்ட் லைக் பட் வென் யூ புட் இட் இந்த டங் இட் இட் லைக் ஒரு மாதிரி ஒரு திங்கிள் ஆகும் இல்லையா அந்த மாதிரி ஐ வாண்ட் டு யூஸ் அக்கார்டிங் இன் தட் லைக் ஜஸ்ட் லைக் அ அ டச் தட்ஸ் ஆல் ஸோ ஐ வாஸ் நாட் ட்ரைங் டு மேக் இட் லுக் லைக் அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஐ மீன் அது தனியாக கேட்கணும் அப்படின்னு இல்லாமல் இட் வாஸ் ஜஸ்ட் யூஸ்ட் ஆஸ் அன் எம்பலிஷ்மெண்ட் ஃபார் த ஸ்பெக்ட்ரம் கலர் இஃப் யூ மே ரைட் so i was missing some luster there and the and accordion vandu it's a very warm instrument that can also add brightness to the whole spectrum so it's a good cheat to have really and i think it it really did have that or a dreamy ana or feel kudu yeah 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 there's that. a very so, it, because the accordion the sound i don't know it, it the sound oozes out of it you know yeah yeah like, yeah exactly un- unlike other instruments yeah. where sound is either produced it, yeah. with an accordion maybe because it's like a pair of lungs you can breathe right like, like yeah it's just a lungs you know yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. sound just oozes out of it so yeah, when you yeah, give yeah. me that little bit of uh, color it just like something happens exactly the point like not more not less yeah so idu vandha ekla ramans are kuda same use panirpar accordion nariya bottle i've seen him guru le and swadesh la la or accordion use panirpar it was just which song and the swadesh la or title music varum ye jo desa ta 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 i don't know if you remember it but the first time i like in the sharagan will be flying on a like a plane back to india and sky la kaatuvanga and swadeshingra idu varum i mean it will it appadi and the accordion will tell you what the film is about it will orient you into the film it will right. say 
you know just follow your heart right it will take because even if though periya vela pannitte irukan didinu ondru chinna gramathla edho he wants light a bulb na i mean it's not a viable dream right. but that's what the story is about right. now accordion has this kind of character and if you go into balkan folk music accordion will be used in a apdiya opposite way they will just like i mean melodically they will just squeeze it out of its wits and the mari they will play it so it's a very uh, versatile instrument you can use it as an embellishment or just with accordion you can get the whole spectrum going right right or low accordion high accordion irundale or whole spectrum e kekku andla organ is also very similar like yeah. uh, the, the big organs i'm talking about yeah. they the church f- organs exactly spectrum ma patha or whole orchestra oda spectrum e you will get in a organ so yeah i mean uh, if there is feasibility surely i'll, <laughs> I'll go and record a real organ maybe someday another instrument that uh, that 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 intrigued me was i don't know whether it's an instrument or whether it's a sound you produced on 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 the computer or whatever it is i noticed it when the first uh, interlude happened actually there's only one interlude so mm-hmm. the when the interlude happened if, for every uh, 16 beats mm-hmm. there's this there's one note that sustained oh yeah yeah that one okay that's one note that sustained it's a very thin instrument like yeah. it's it sounds like it's actually like a, a synth it was modeled from a synth a moog okay. synthesizer an analog synth okay Actually, I'm a big fan of synthesizers. Right. Not that I had any opportunity to really extensively use them. Right. But I'm going to do them more as I go because analogs, analog synths are very interesting to work in the sense that um, you can create your own stuff. Right. You can tweak it to any sound. You can sculpt any sound that you want. Right. And the note actually, I know it. Now, like um, generally in the Pink Floyd or the part, Lalan, they'll have this feedback going yeah, yeah, yeah. in and coming. So it is just a note. but it's it's more of a it's like a smell in the air rather than yeah because you sustain it for a yeah, bit yeah, yeah. like uh, uh, not the 16 beats but there's a maybe four beats or something like that you sustain it so exactly yeah so adu vandu oru note da yeah but and the oru note vandu it give me some some very interesting feeling like flying or something i've seen especially like pink floyd do a lot of like yeah, wonders yeah, with this yeah 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 like they will have a and the and the inda paattu nu orume martin scorsese padathile kuda they would have used comfortably numb nor bad yeah my god It's one of my favorite just what gilmore plays in that song you would not It's have heard a more fluidy solo than that yeah, yeah. i mean it will be if if you define that guitar tone it will be a liquid for sure avlo avlo abdi or bhayangara fluidity a irukum so indha marala kekumbodhu sometimes when you need you know it's just not the literature of it but also the the book's cover and aesthetic, aesthetically how it feels like for example if you walked into a room if the song were a room i mean what will the room look like yeah. mean, what will it smell like i mean you don't look at the smell but you you certainly feel it so in the mari or feel ka then end la vandu she feels like in the bike la pombodhu abadi she feels like okay my life is set because she just saw the other guy yeah na to ramadan ipo dhan paathiruka paatha kuda then suddenly avan enna pannidra husband oda shirt la sari pannuva idu pannuva enak enna na vaara appdi solluvala so adile vandu i think she finds her freedom She's so you wanted that feeling some something to suggest that she's free something like that so that right. note kind of yeah that note gave me some some feel like did you first put that that note in the interlude and then incorporate it in the rest of, rest of the songs or where did the idea come first so uh, i was completely done with the song everything in the song was done generally or or chinna drama was missing is what i felt actually the accordion is making you i mean or nalla european feel kudukirathu tune irukku lyric irukku arrangement ellam aayiduthu but that flying feeling was missing so whenever i don't know something i inime enna pandradhu nu therilla na i'll just go to my moog synthesizer and i'll just start tweaking something playing something over it i knew that it had to be something very small very minimal something that not i mean sometimes my assistant say na na or note vaaskiringa abdin kepa but i'm telling it you're still going to hear it yeah if it is just one note you'll hear it even clearer, clearer and better yeah. yeah if it is more notes you'll anyway not it's going to become more vague for you so or mari the minimalism really like took over me recently like na munadi nareya pannu potla ipo innum kammi kammiya pandra nu nenikira so i just started tweaking it i played it on top of it i felt like okay maybe this is it and uh, going by my aesthetic appeal i won't just hold a note somewhere randomly but i don't know by accident when i was jamming on it it kind of just worked for me and i just left it are you a philip glass fan no <laughs> not really not very like i'm not very acquainted with this work oh, okay yeah. do yeah. i sound like him or something some parts of this okay. so i was like wondering if there was a there was a kind of a no, so, so. so there's another uh, you know you you start the piano and that lovely hum from uh, padmapriya 
and then the whistling starts mm -hmm. so incorporating a whistle into this this music uh, into this song mm -hmm. how did that come about so whistle has been kind of my i am generally a whistler like when i you know chill part la paadi indru mosama na whistle adichu dhan paaduven so sometimes when i compose when i sing the songs i whistle for them inge vandu maybe and actually whistle pannadhu vandu edavar instrument la pora vaasikala nu solli chumma whistle panna the numari chumma pa idu panna one idu nalla irukke idey use pannalama nu ketta then i'll go for a whistle also whistle is a very it's a simple thing anybody can do it yeah. so it has that or mari i can't call it an instrument but whistling is something people do privately for their own happiness kind of thing so maybe yeah adana avar ketar avar pudichidun sonnar so i just left it abbi i didn't translate into any in accordion la vaasir pen but whistle pannidam you liked it yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. there is one point in the song mm -hmm. where you have one piano note and the song just stops oh oh there 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 So you they pause for like a microsecond there. Yeah, I generally prefer silence before choruses. I don't like do risers and fillers and all that. Ah, Roman alla villa. Jasmine le na chorus ko manadi nirti do. Yeah, you just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like silence a lot. It's like suddenly the songs put the brakes on it like yeah. for a second. Yeah, just to uh, nothing intentional, but it's just I I find that uh, unnecessary. Yeah, solder the ge do malama. But like in the mari part le na unai yoshola. chorus ku munadi you have this big build up for the chorus right like you have a or audla or line varum or some role will come enak vandu i have often not been comfortable with that idea right like uh, oh you are giving a build up for anyway chorus is coming now i can't wait for a second i mean you can refresh your ears for the chorus right so this may seem like very arrogant or something but i feel that silence is actually really the closest I mean, silence can do things that music can't. Actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I am more a fan of silence. I mean, I think I'm not music for you. So uh, I have these silences in between. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. when you wait for something, other value is very super hard. So maybe other than that, I think. No, but it's interesting because yeah. you're, uh, you know, there's like usually when there's just X amount of time for a song, usually about four to five minutes. It's very rare to find. silence inside a song mm -hmm. you know like a uh, uh, like also added a like a feel to it that's what i'm saying no see this whole thing no just see, my aesthetic choice like right, right. like generally in the kalathile na problem enna paakrena like when i talk to people they are in a hurry to respond to what i'm saying or they want to say something they have not even thought about it but they have already started talking no isn't this ineffective communication i mean even if you are making a song it's still communication material you are talking to somebody it's not like oh you play the instruments okay play something for me and the mari we are not doing this right so on the sense lend paakumbodhu whenever i put the only thing that i take time for is i i like to think of song as some like dish or something you throw things on the pan ellathiyum potta da kolapalam அது வந்து பார்க்க பயங்கரமா இருக்கு என்ன ரொம்ப பயங்கரமா இருக்கே நான் சாப்பிட்டா நம்மளுக்கே அப்புறம் ரெண்டு பேர் நல்லா இருக்குன்னு சொன்னா ஐயோ நம்மளும் நல்லா இருக்குன்னு சாப்பிட்றோம் அப்படிதான் திஸ் மீட்டு திங் இஸ் லைக் இந்த மீட்டு சின்ரோம் தட்ஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் ரைட் வென் சம்படி டென் பீப்புள் சே திஸ் இஸ் குட் யூ ஹாவ் டு அக்ரி பிகாஸ் யூ பி புலிட் இன் டு இட் எனிவே ஃபார் வாட் ஐ வாண்ட் ஐ மீன் த மீட்டு சின்ரோம் லைக் வென் அ சாங் பாப்ஸ் லைக் ஓ ஓகே ஓகே நாட் டாக்கிங் அபவுட் தட் ஓ ஐ தாட் யூ வெரி சட்லி ஹேஸ் லைக் ட்ரைங் டு ஓகே ஓகே ஐயா ஓகே இது ஃபேமஸ் ஆயிடுது சாரி அதுக்கு முன்னாடி மீட்டு சின்ரோம் எவரிபடி will copy yeah, like like me yeah yeah like yeah, copying yeah, something yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, but but um, i guess what i'm saying is uh, we we get to choose a language that we are comfortable yeah. to talk with our audience and um, i think that's something i'm standing by like generally in of, of course build up thevana okay but in the mari part la i just i because the hasta ini poruma irukke enak because it also it also makes the listener wait okay now what and then you say uravenum perungudai abadina aduve poruma irukke enak right so communication you just sounded like msc there sorry you just sounded like msc there perungudai <laughs> <laughs> you know when you said that i'm a big like, fan actually big yeah. big fan his voice is like so yeah, this yeah. one so i was like wow that's that's so this one so your process of composition happens so do you get the situation you absorb the characters and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. what is the first thing you work out you work out the main melody so uh, if if the idea is melodic i mean if it requires a melodic exploration i do that like for example uravu really requires that it requires a strong melody right so what came first uravu uravu la vandu indha line da madala thare thare de 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 de
I don't know. I just 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 அப்புறம் வந்து இது 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 இதெல்லாம் அப்புறம் தான் லாஸ்ட்டாக வந்தது சரணம் தான் முதல்ல முடிஞ்சது ஆக்சுவலாக அந்த பாட்டில் ஸோ இது தான் பில்ட் இட் பேக்வர்ட்ஸ் யா ஸோ ஃபார் மீ அந்த லீனியர் ஐடியா ஆஃப் மேக்கிங் அ சாங் இட்ஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்லி லாஸ்ட் ஆன் மீ ரைட் நோ ஸோ சம்டைம்ஸ் அது கேட்டால் இன்ஃபேக்ட் தலகோதமில் வந்து முதல்ல வந்தது வந்து சரணத்தோட எண்ட் டியூன் தான் நீலவண்ண கூற இல்லாத நிலம் இங்கு ஏது காலமெனும் தோழன் முன்னோடு தடைகளை மீறு மறுமோதான தலகோதும் <laughs> 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 you think it's a major but mm-hmm. some something or a minor but but uh, but what you really talking about is the feel that is if it's a generally positive feel you mm-hmm. say major and if mm-hmm. it's a generally negative feel you say mm-hmm. it's minor yeah but actually the, the the notes the precise notes may be anything between it depends on the tune or the exactly because major minors because music has been my, major minor oriented western classical music now so right 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 predominantly so the psychology of feeling good has become major and the psychology of becoming sad has become a minor la bo idu varu so but but what i'm thinking is like the joker la and the avar and the safari suit eduth maatuvar guru somasundaram anga vandu ipdi unnaru If you know, you played, but piano like that, you will feel it's very modern. But in that way, there is an excuse. So, chords, you, you think of it as color, right? Right. Like, technically, what I'm playing is, in a Carnatic sense, so I'm just putting it together. So, I'm playing, uh, okay, I'm playing um, A minor sounds. But I, cannot, I can also play it like, with the ninth. I can even play it like, ஆக்சுவலாக இருக்கிற எல்லா கேம் வாசிக்கிற ஃபிஃப்த் நோட் வரைக்கும் பட் இஃப் யூ லே இட் அவுட் வெரி வெல் யூ கால் திஸ் வாய்ஸிங் இன் மியூசிக் லைக் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இஃப் ஐ பிளே இட் லைக் இப்போ இப்போ இதுதான் கார்டுனா ஸோ ஐ கேன் ஈவன் பிளே இட் லைக் இப்படி கூட வாசிக்கலாம் இட் மை நாட் சவுண்ட் ப்ரிட்டி இதோ so when you space it out as frequencies you can actually add more like jazz ipdi da actually ipo jazz harmonies la ipdi irukum yeah it's almost very dodgy i mean it gives a very dark feeling but it's cool like it sounds very cool so when you when you do this actually when you or chord mele innor chord podumbodu sean rolden and friends la nariya irukum indha mari nariya part la actually adu oru oru i mean we were in the space where we were exploring everything ஸோ இப்போ தான் அது கம்மியாக இருக்குது ஸோ பட் இஃப் யூ இஃப் யூ கோ லைக் திஸ் ஐ மீன் ஜாஸ் இஸ் வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் ஃபார் தட் ரீசன் டு மீ பிகாஸ் இட் ஹேஸ் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் கலர்ஸ் ஐ மீன் சேட்னஸ்னா இட் ஜஸ்ட் டசன் டாக் அபவுட் த பர்சன் இஸ் சேட் மேபி ரைட் பட் இல் ஆல்சோ பீட் யூ அப் இஃப் யூ கோ அண்ட் ஆஸ்க் இம் வை ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் எமோஷன்ஸ் ஸோ யூ நீட் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் கலர்ஸ் டு லைக் ஸோ கார்ட்ஸ் ஆர் கலர்ஸ் ஃபார் மீ தே யூஸ் டு பி லைக் அ காம்பினேஷன் ஆஃப் நோட்ஸ் பிஃபோர் யூ வில் கால் இட் ஃபார் எஃப் எப்படி இது எல்லாமே கலர்ஸாக தான் கேட்குது எனக்கு ஒன்லி வென் ஐம் ட்ரைங் டு அனலைஸ் இட் ஐ இல் பிரேக் இட் அப் இன் டு நோட்ஸ் பட் வென் ஐம் பிளேயிங் இட் வென் ஐ ஹியர் அ கலர் இஃப் ஐ லைக் இட் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் கோ வித் இட் வென் யூ சே இஃப் ஹியர் அ கலர் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் தட் டு மீ ஆஸ் என் மேபி ஒரு இப்போ வந்து ஒரு இப்போ ஏ மைனர் செவன்த் வந்து ஒரு மெல்லோ கலர் மேபி ஃபார் மீ 
you see it as a color i i perceive it as some color a okay. brighter darker ngar maadi da okay so maybe if i f this is a very bright color this f but the same thing you played in c this has a different flavor to it so it also has to do with keys oru baat vera keela vacha apdiye vera mari irukum keta so that is why music is like see you need a lot of time to understand all this even even just because i'm playing it doesn't mean i'll understand everything right that is where this idea of controlling your art being more rigid about the exploration comes into play but if you are just little fluid about it maybe you will do something people don't understand at that point of time but later maybe it fall into context you know modalla vand like jazz music la yaarukume puriyave illaya modalla clubs la than it was happening yeah, yeah but for it to really find its blooming the context developed later so this is often a thing that i'm uh, i mean i find it hard to explain to people why why this song why that song idu enna bayangaram irukku idhe work all abadina enak eppadi theriyum as in why the song did succeed to the people like ola ola gudu saila was my favorite song from joker but vera baad than hit aachu idu aagala aagala na not in a big way of course padathoda people could relate to it but they maybe couldn't understand why it was special because key bayangaram ah cheyanga ona ona gudu saila undu vanda seemaatti ona sorry சிம்பிள்ங்க்ஸ்ட்டி <laughs> it's a it's a, i won't say complex but it's a dense song. yeah d- dense yeah so it goes and then so it's not even a major i'm playing a g with e major chord or g you ask so i feel there is a connection but ragangal irukna ragas also have colors yeah with certain ragas just by omitting few notes you get a feeling from that so adhe mari than harmonies like harmonies me like if if there were just like you could learn every chord in a day actually then you can make music right but what what is then where you go f- i mean where do you go from there i mean there's still something more so idhula than we break it down as arrangements like a guitar venum na guitar guitar voice pandrathu guitar um piano um irukna you can't like conflicting a irukka mudiya the voicings so indha mari nariya vishayam irukku adukulla so adala i make sure i do that maybe it's just a lot of invisible work that's not like on your face yeah. but the feeling is translating somehow Yeah and I think and the, that, uh, the the main thing is that that the emotion comes through. Yeah yeah that's But, ultimately that's the point no that's matter how like bombastically I explain everything it, it's still No I don't think it's bombastic at all I think I think like actually I'm very grateful because you know the there are many people that you talk to but mm. very few people who are able to explain thing and of course to some people it is going to sound pretentious because of the the nature of nature the of con- the, conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. but that you cannot help because it's like yeah. you know when 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 you're trying to explain art you are going to get into a realm that that is a little yeah i mean yeah, if you, yeah. if there is a need to be understood sure but um, i'm just i i feel that sharing these things will make people appreciate the other things in music because art on the simple on a premise the art odu yeah if you amp it up if you amp a part the problem is going to be you have to justify the image you're amping it up as right. so to justify that you will do anything right but then what becomes of the honesty of the art because nammal ipo nammal influence pannirukra baadichirukra ella artist me romba honest ana artist right like whatever politicians could do couldn't do bob dylan has done with just a guitar right yeah. i mean how did he do it by writing simple songs yeah now you may think they are simple songs but it takes a certain character to sing them like yeah. that yeah. to say the words a certain way and also that voice yeah yeah also yeah. the voice i yeah. mean peculiar voice right i mean he will <laughs> initially whoever hears bob dylan they will think you know romba peculiar arc it's like an old man singing and all he was he was yeah. like ref, left right and center he was criticized but he, he he was waiting to blossom like a flower blossoms it waits yeah in the 60s and 70s early that time just pretty much gave him the political context as well so, exactly yeah. and and he responded right yeah. i mean he didn't respond unfairly not like a sensationalist see in india there are people there are artists who responds in a sensational manner to a sensitive issue if if you sensationalize everything uh, meaning uh, it will just be some trivia that you are just using that for your own growth like uh, if i say i want to be okay let me talk for some 
I don't know. Let me let me talk for musicians. So I'll I'll write a song about how musicians are suffering. But do you really feel that? If you really don't feel that, people are today very smart. They can figure out whether you are being pretentious or you are really meaning what you say. Right. So I think in that sense, because a lot of things we have come through in the last ten years, there has been so much growth, so much content, so much things are happening that finally people are able to see. Okay, I want this. I want now. Really, the power of choice will come. and if that becomes bigger hopefully that's where i want to be like uh, where people will have a deep connection with the artist you can listen to something and think you're enjoying it but if you're really enjoying it that's what matters right right like if you really know what's going on so adanalada idala solrudu just to make people understand what's going on and anybody can do this some people come to me and say oh you have learned music i'm like what did i learn i'm figuring out music that's how i make tunes if i've learned something i'll just keep repeating it right that is actually not what i'm trying to do at all and i feel that there is this class bias in music where people say oh you learned carnatic music oh you are the best musician it's not like that a really learned musician will have a really crappy voice and he won't even move you with the singing somebody who has a decent enough voice good intelligence a good feeling they can affect you so it's a complex package it's not like you learn something and you'll just make it so that's what art is and it's always going to be that right and with ai coming up it's going to be more competitive you're going, you're going to comp- compete with the computer right right it can make better sean rolden songs than sean rolden very soon and i, I, I see it as that as a reality it's emerging very slowly uh, but what i'm saying is the one thing you can be is honest you can't win everything and um, the, as far as the ambition goes of being number 1 or number 2 i don't know what people are saying that for as if it's a classroom it shows that people are still not come out of classroom mentality and they si- still keep feeling there's a need to grade people um that is just a compulsion you, you are just saying that because you want to say something this whatever you really need to say for that you have to be quiet for some time contemplate on life everything so even to speak up there should be something to say some input has to be there right however life is affecting me other artists are affecting me i'm just getting affected and just pouring out whatever i can and i'm doing it for the benefit of some creators who can use it so that is the that has always been the simple premise of what i've been doing for the last 10 years actually right. in film music so so you you spoke about a lot of older composers dylan so on so forth yeah, yeah. rachels yeah, yeah, you know yeah. now the point is i want to know how you respond to this uh this factor of longevity of music mm-hmm. because uh you know a lot of people say very easily that oh this song is immortal or this song never dies all that means is that i'm still listening to it yeah. it doesn't mean that like today's 12 year old or 13 year old is still listening to it you know you don't know what music they're listening mm-hmm. to, you know yeah. so uh my generation and i'm i'm talking about the people who grew up in the 80s mm-hmm. they probably had a better advantage because we did not have choice we listened to everything that was thrown at us yeah, so yeah, yeah. unconsciously like without ra- ra- not unconscious rather without my wanting to i was exposed to like any number of things mm-hmm. without me but today i can go and say oh i'm a sean rolden fan i will i can listen only to his music or mm-hmm. i'm a x fan y fan and i there's an entire spectrum that's mm-hmm. that's being mm-hmm. like like i don't i don't get into that at all mm-hmm. now because of this this enormity of of stuff out there mm-hmm. how do you know that a sean rolden song will last 10 years from now or 20 years i don't that's the beauty of it <laughs> i don't actually i mean i am i am as clueless as everybody is because um, see some people may have some logical answer for this i really don't I, how do i know what what will happen next year right let alone because nobody knew covid was coming right so and that doesn't affect my music at all as right. what i'm saying at this right. moment mm-hmm. what, that's that's what matters yeah because clearly i have something to give that's why i'm giving it and i won't even be, be releasing i told you right i took a break for a year yeah. not even wanting to do films because there is nothing to give um, but if certainly there is if if i'm flowing a lot if a lot of like creative juices are flowing obviously i want to share it with somebody and right. i just play i have some great tunes that i only play for myself i won't even release them because nobody requires it what if right a situation comes and requires it definitely a lot of those songs have become வெள்ளாட்டு கண்ணகிலாம் அப்படி போட்ட பாட்டு தான் ஓகே நான் பண்ணி சும்மா நானே கேட்கறதுக்காக போட்ட பாட்டு தான் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் என்ஜாய் பிளே டு சம் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் தட் வில் பி இட் அண்ட் ஐம் டோட்லி ஓகே வித் தட் அண்ட் தென் ராஜமுருகன் சார் கேட்டு இந்த பாட்டு சூப்பராக இருக்கு இந்த படத்தில் யூஸ் பண்ணலாமான்னு கேட்டு ஓகே டேக் இட் அவ்வளோதான் ஸோ இட்ஸ் நாட் லைக் ஐ எம் நீதர் நார் எம் ஐ சேயிங் தட் ஐ வோன்ட் லைக் கிவ் அ லாட் ஆஃப் மெட்டீரியல் அண்ட் 
நான் ஏன் இதை ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் பண்ணி சொல்கிறேன் அப்படின்னா எவ்ரிபடி இஸ் சேயிங் திஸ் ஆர் தட் இட்ஸ் போத் ஆக்சுவலி திஸ் ஆர் தட்னா இப்போ வந்து இதை நான் எனக்குன்னு வச்சுப்பேன் இல்லைன்னு நான் வந்து கமர்ஷியலாக தான் பண்ணுவேன் அப்படின்னு தான் பீப்பிள் சேவ் லைக் பர்சனல் ஆர் பிஸ்னஸ் ஓரியன்டட் ஆ இட் இட் இஸ் இட் இஸ் பீன் நை தட் மை ட்ரஸ்ட் அண்ட் அதர் ஹியூமன் பீயிங் டு ஷேர் சம்திங் வித் ஐ வின் ஈவன் லைக் நான் வந்து அன்கம்ஃபர்டபுளான திங்ஸ் பற்றிலாம் பாட்டு எதி ஸ்டேஜ்லேயே பாடியிருக்கேன் ஸோ இட் இட் இஸ் நெவர் பாதட் மீ ஸோ த வே ஐ லுக் அட் இட் இவ்வளோ நிறைய மியூசிக் இருந்தால் கூட ஏன்னா இந்த மாதிரி செவன்டீஸில் நடந்தது லைக் தெர் ஆர் லாட் ஆஃப் பேண்ட்ஸ் இந்த வேர்ல்டு மீனிங் திஸ் பீட்டில்ஸ் ஃபினாமினா ட்ரிகர்டு அ லாட் ஆஃப் பட் டெல் மீ ஹவு மெனி பேண்ட்ஸ் யூ வெண்ட் பேக் டு தெர் ஆர் மெனி சென்சேஷனலிஸ்ட்ஸ் இன் தேர் தே ட்ரை டு காப்பி அதர் பேண்ட்ஸ் தே ட்ரை டு ஜஸ்ட் மேக் சம் பிஸ்னஸ் அவுட் ஆஃப் இட் தே ஸோ ஃபார் பீப்புள் டு டு டேர்ன் ஹெட்ஸ் தே வில் ஃபோர்ஸ் தெம் செல்ஃப் டு ரைட் சம்திங் தட்ஸ் அப்பீலிங் பட் அந்த பாட்டில் இன்னைக்கு எங்கே இருக்குங்க நீங்கள் இல்லை But, but, but yeah. ultimately, all I'm saying is like in time, see, certainly there is going to come a time where, obviously, one part of my life, one part of my life, one part of my life, one part of my life. I think the need for people to go looking for special stuff is not here now. So that is how the system is also responding. Now, as we move forward, there is going to be a day where everything becomes so normalized. Everything that is popular will be so available. that what will be special is that one special thing that's not like the other things i'm just saying i'm standing first in the queue so uh, if it takes time it takes time it's a lovely person. way to put it yeah. because it also happens that sometimes <laughs> we are not ready for a song hmm. as in like there are many songs in my life that i have not liked at first listen mm-hmm. or second listen or even 50th listen but suddenly one point in life will come when that song is playing somewhere and you are not able to move mm-hmm. because it's just like affected you so much yeah, yeah, yeah. so you know it could also be that so yeah so in the padathil me patha jingrida danga will be definitely a catchy song and takku ne you will respond to it not that it's a dishonest song but it's a more appealing song for right, sure right but uravu mari paattu so that's why i have always kept this balance where you keep adhe joker album la than olavala kudu selium irukku but innanga saranga satta mo jasmine adula dhaan irukku jasmine mana national but uh, not that olavala good sale is not been done for you know to get lost or something it will have to wait its turn so when it will be understood it will be appreciated if not it's okay that's how it is but one one other thing about uh, when when you mentioned jagrit danda that that uh, dingrit danda singrit uh, danga yeah singrit danga like how, a, how do you say it again it's jingrit danga jingrit danga okay good <laughs> now i got a like a, it's like song. my name sean yeah Ball. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so once you know that song has a beat right mm-hmm. whatever doesn't have a beat yeah. there's no as in there's percussion in the form of piano but yes, there's yes. no real uh, like a like a beat to it it's more of a mellow like yeah yeah so when song. when a song so the song floats right mm-hmm. because it's not rooted by a beat it's not there's nothing that's crashing down to say 1 2 3 4 you know hey, like hey you that. know what we are going to sing a chorus and the mari do and the mari do so when you do songs like these do you kind of uh, uh, like like are you somewhere like aware that the other song is going to be more popular but i should still oh i'm absolutely aware this absolutely aware that's why i'm saying it's a choice like see i know which song is going to work every time i've done an album i will definitely know takku ne eda appeal agum over time eda appeal agum te ena vandu power bandi vandha bodu everybody said paathen 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 i knew when pani malare will out live i mean because not because paathen is a good song it's totally fine i mean i have nothing against it but ஒரு ஸ்பெஷல் பாட்டு அப்படின்னா வென் பண்ணி மலரே பிகாஸ் அதுக்கான கான்டெக்ஸ்ட்டை புரிஞ்சுக்கிற அளவுக்கு யாருக்கும் டைம் இல்லை ஒரே நாளில் வை வில் எவ்ரிபடி கோ அண்ட் லிசன் நவ் சம்படி வில் இன்டர்னலைஸ் இட் அண்ட் ஸ்டில் ஹண்ட்ரட் அதர் பீப்புள் கோ அண்ட் லிசன் டு திஸ் சாங் ஐ யூ ஹர்ட் திஸ் சாங்கா அதில் ஆர ஆரம்பத்தில் வந்து ஸ்ட்ரிங்ஸ்லாம் வரும் உள்ளே இது வரும் எண்டில் வந்து அப்படியே கார்டு மாறும் ஸோ இதுக்குள்ளே இருக்கிற ஒர்க் என்னன்னு தெரிய தெரிய தானே அதை பற்றி அவார்டு ஸோ தெர் ஆர் ஈவன் பீப்புள் ஹூ டோன்ட் ஈவன் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் அ நாட் தே கான் காண்டம்ப்ளேட் அ நாட் பட் தே ஃபீல் திஸ் சாங் ஹேஸ் ஹீல்ட் மீ ஆஸ் தே கேன் ஃபீல் தி ஆர்ட் Yeah. so if it can be done like this if you can nammalku or craft up pannanonu or daagam irukum namakku indha mari or part pannanume adha resolution ipdi irukkanume apdi or daagam irundhu adhe nerathile if you can also like make i mean if you can also tell people that hey you don't need to understand this song but you, you will feel good listening to it actually that is what i've been trying to do with these kind of songs like for a long time because i know it's a slightly off beat song it will go in unexpected directions but what can i say i'm an unpredictable guy so i i enjoy this personally more you're a musician in the new millennium mm-hmm. which means your music is is going out largely to people of today mm-hmm. uh if 
hypothetically there was an earlier era that you could go back to to those audiences mm -hmm. which era would you go back to this is a very bhayangara <laughs> kashtamana question to answer ena which era could you really go back to because you will just fall absolutely flat on your face because msv era ku pona ena avarla vandu tunes e solren like just the tunes i heard a song recently i will sing for you have you heard that song yeah, yeah, yeah. i will dance for you and adutha line liye karnatic romba legit ah irukum i will sing for you i will dance for you abla paaduvar i think people have just finished the i mean length and breadth of what could have been done then appa porandirundha sollam but now looking from this time if you have to go there i think it's really hard work because see i, I know you will get musicians every day with you that's one ipo vandu msv sir oda era dhan best era number 3 because on the anglo indian musicians were also there you had the best indian musicians really the quality of musicians what happened among. to those i mean i genuinely am curious in the hindi as well as here what happened to those anglo indian musicians no i guess it, it was no, nobody did anything to them i i think that just no, musicians got not in a changed. conspiracy theory but what happened is like yeah yeah I, I, all i'm trying to say is that uh, sometimes musicians ke pasangala porandanga undu they go to other professions or they don't carry on or they quietly just live their lives and the it just faded, faded away faded away okay nothing particularly wrong because you, know, you heard happened. so much about them in earlier songs yeah, yeah, yeah. like whether hindi or tamil or whatever atmosphere or bass player yaar nu theedin irukken ena apdi irukum and swing la bayangara and drummer bayangara ma irukum so and the era ku pona you would have had a lot of fun working with these amazing musicians not that we have any less but and the era oda quality vand it was unbelievable and singers what singers you will get um the best singers really pb srinivas and ellarume in fact previous era la irundhu irundhavangalo and the time la irundhaanga and pudhu singers only had come into the msv framework maybe i would have you couldn't have competed with them but you would have definitely it was a simpler very nicer time to have actually that's where i was coming at i wasn't talking about competing but i was talking about you know like i never okay not even me but maybe my 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 dad's generation or something like that you know i i feel very envious because they used to talk about uh going to the terrace with a transistor at night mm -hmm. uh because there's no tv mm -hmm. and uh they would just listen to the songs mm -hmm. and they would absorb the words they would absorb the everything so it's not like you're listening to a song while you're doing something else today exactly. almost everybody listens to songs as wallpaper it's like 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 uh i'm not saying this because oh you're you're kudut part kuduthirukkaru so you're a part of no i'm not saying that way because yeah. things are what they are but i'm saying that that era yeah. it was a more playful era wasn't it yeah and and all, the, the simplicity nanu solran for for example actually in that but i don't think i have the courage to do a tune like this and pull it off like he he would have done it so simply it will be so hard touching that sippi irukudhu muthum irukudhu thirundhu paarka neram illadi rajathi imagine me singing a இது இது ஒரு டைரக்டர் இது இவ்வளவு சிம்பிள் பாட்டா இருக்கிறதுனால பாட்டுலயே கொண்டு வந்துருவார் அது நான் ஒரு டியூன் சொல்றேன் பாட்டு சொல்லு அப்படின்னு இட்ஸ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் லைக் எஜுகேட்டிங் தி ஆடியன்ஸ் ரைட் வாட் அ சிம்பிள் வே டு கெட் பீப்புள் இன் டு த மியூசிக் ஸோ இந்த மாதிரி சொல்றேன் இது இவ்வளவு இன்னசென்டான ஈராங்கிறதுனால மேபி நானுமே ஐ திங்க் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு கோ பேக் டு தட் ஈரா ஈவன் இஃப் நாட் அ மியூசிஷன் மேபி ஜஸ்ட் பி பிளே கிட்டார் ஃபார் அம் சம்திங் ரைட் தட் வுட் பீன் அ கிரேட் ஈரா டு பி பார்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபார் ஷுர் but thank you so much uh, sean roll and it's thank been you, a you, complete sir. pleasure thank you uh, pleasure and, mine, and so. thank you for urav uh, because it's like uh, uh, you know i i i really i mean love the way you broke down certain portions of mm -hmm. it because mm -hmm. i tried my best to uh, no i yeah. see and it's actually a, a difficult task because yeah. a lot of people i i i speak to they say that some most of art is so instinctive mm -hmm. that it's very hard to explain uh, what was going on in their minds mm -hmm. when that particular yeah. decision was taken or when right. when that particular thing because it's all coming from the unconscious mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so but still i think you know you explained quite a lot so thank you so much for yeah, that yeah i mean i'm glad to throw light on some stuff and uh, i hope everybody likes this interview i also had the chance to share a lot of things i wouldn't generally share with people so i should say i really enjoyed as well thank you so much thank you thanks holidays nale nama gt holidays tha south india's number one travel brand meenakshi college of nursing mangadu and arulmigu meenakshi college of nursing kanjipuram admissions open for bsc msc and post basic bsc apply now for online one to one vocal and instrumental music lessons visit bmusician.com